to case one of the partial fraction, uh, which is the non-repeated linear partial fraction. Suppose you are asked to resolve this question into partial fraction. If you check the denominator very well, the eight factor is actually linear factor, and they are raised to the power of one. So it shows that this is actually non-repeated and a linear partial fraction. So in this case, let's say we want to resolve this into partial fraction. This whole fraction is going to be equivalent to a over x plus 1, right, plus b over x minus 3 plus c over 2x minus 1, right? So after that, I'll go ahead and find the LCM or I should go ahead and multiply all both sides with all this factor, right? So here I'm going to have x plus 1 into bracket x minus 3, right, into bracket 2x minus 1, then which is equivalent to 3x squared minus 4x plus 5 divided by x plus 1 into bracket x minus 3 into bracket 2x minus 1. So in this case, um, let's go ahead. This, we cancel this out then. I'm left with a into bracket x minus 3 into bracket 2x minus 1, right? Then plus this, we cancel this. Then I'm left with b into bracket x plus 1, right? Then again, I'm having... 2x minus 1, right? Then plus again, I will have my c into brackets again. This, you can see this out, then I'm having x plus 1 into bracket x minus 3, right? So now what happens is that these factors is going to cancel out the factors here. Then I'm going to have it to be 3x squared minus 4x plus 5, which is equivalent to a into bracket x minus 3. In open under bracket that's 2x minus 1 plus b into bracket x plus 1 open under bracket 2x minus 1 close the bracket then plus c into bracket x plus 1 into bracket x minus 3. On the norms, if you want to solve partial fraction question, it is either you use the assume method or try and error, and you also use comparing the coefficient. What I'm saying is that is either you use try and error method or you use comparing the coefficient. The trial and error method is also known as the assumed method. Now, in this case, you can go ahead and just try and error since all the factors are linear. So I can just select taking this, that's x minus 3 equals to 0. Therefore, my x equals what? 3. So if I put 3 here, this will be 0, then everything here will be 0. There is no, okay, if I just put 3 here, nothing is going to be 0 here. If I put 3 here, then everything here will be 0. Then simply, I'm going to have it to be 3 into bracket 3 squared minus 4 into bracket 3 plus 5 is equivalent to my b. You know, this will be cancelled out. Then I'm going to have my b to be 3 plus 1 into bracket 2 into bracket 3 minus 1. Right? So now let me just simplify. 3 squared is 9 3 times 9. That's 27 minus 12 plus 5. Right? Which is equal. This is actually 4. Right? Then 2 times 3 is 6 minus 1. That's 5. Then I'm having 20b. Right, so here I can simply say 12, 27 minus 12 plus 5. This we should give me something like that's actually 13, right? This is 13 equals to 20b, right? So therefore, my b equals to 13 over 20. So if that's the case, then the next thing we need to do actually here is that we go back to the a. Let me call this a, right? We go back to this a. So we are going to check another linear factor, which is 2x minus 1. We can just say 2, let 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Then 2x, right, is what? Equals to 1, right? Then we are going to have x to be what? 1 over 2. So if I should put my, my uh, 1 over 2 here, everything here will be equals to 0. If I should put it here also, because I'm having 2x minus 1, everything here will be equals to 0. Then I will be left with this. So I'm going to bring out this again. I'm going to have it to be 3 x squared minus okay 4x plus 5 equals is equivalent to c into bracket x plus 1 into bracket x minus 3 then i can just put my what my x let x equals 1 over 2 then i'm putting in here i'm going to have to be 3 into bracket 1 over 2 all squared minus 4 into bracket 1 over 2 plus 5 is equivalent to c into bracket 1 over 2 plus 1 then open another bracket 1 over 2 minus 3 Right? So now what will happen is that here I can have 1 over 2 squared, that should be 1 over 4, then everything here should be 3 over 4. 
right? Then minus 4. This should give me minus 4 over that's 2, then plus 5, which is equivalent to this should give me 3 over 2, that's c into bracket 3 over 2, right? And also this, if I'm not mistaken, this should be that's 1 over 2 minus 3. That should give me something like minus 5 over 2. Minus 5 over 2. Right? Sorry, this should be 20. Brother, this should be 20. This should be 20. Equals to 20, exactly. So what will happen is that our B is equal to 1. Is equals to 1. Sorry. So now let's come back here. 3 over 4 minus 4 over 2 plus 5. That should give you something like uh, 3 over 4 minus this. I should be having to be that's a 15 over 4, right? Which is equal. 3 multiplied like this will give me 15. Then this that should give me minus 15 over 4c. Exactly. Then I can go ahead and cross multiply. If I go ahead and cross multiply here, I'm going to have it to be equal. I'm going to have it to be equal. That's 4 times 15. That should give us something like uh, 60. Then I'm going to have it to be 60 equals to minus 60c, right? Then I'm going to have my c. I'm going to have my C to be equal minus 1, right? So my C is minus 1 in this case. Then after that, I'll come back to the equation up here, right? Then what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to look for another linear factor. So another linear that I'm having here is actually X plus 1. So I can just say let X plus 1 equals to 0. Then X equals to what? Minus 1. So if I put in my minus uh, minus one here i'm going to have everything here to be zero if i put in minus one here i'm going to have everything here to be zero then i'll go for this right so that i'm going to have it to be three into bracket minus one squared minus four into bracket minus one plus five which is equivalent to a into bracket minus one minus td open another bracket two into bracket minus one minus one right so here i'm going to have to be minus one scatter as three plus four plus five is equivalent to this actually minus one minus six that's going to minus four so that's what minus uh, two minus one that's minus three this time this will give us minus 12 a right so let's see that's actually plus 12 a because this is minus two minus one that's minus three multiply that's two plus 12 a so then here also we have what 12 which is cost what 12 a right so now what will happen is that this will cancel this i'm going to have my a to be cost of one so therefore our a equals to 1, our b equals to 1, our c equals to minus 1, right? So now the partial fraction expression now is going to be is going to be in the form since we said we are asked to resolve 3x squared divided by minus 4x plus 5, open bracket x plus 1, into bracket x minus 3d, and into bracket 2x minus 1. We are asked to resolve this into partial fraction. What's going to have is that this will now be equal to a, which is 1 over x plus 1 plus b, which is 1 over x minus 3, right, plus c, which is, no, plus c, we have a plus c, but here our c is minus 1, so I can just add it to be minus 1 over 2x minus 1. So that's just is about the first case. That's just is about the first case. So if you enjoyed this video, kindly click on the subscription button and uh, do where to share the video with others.